welcome. This is Minute with the Mayor, and we are here with our Mayor, Dean Trantalis. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Of course. Good morning. So we're going to chat about some really cool assistance coming directly from the city. Our flood-impacted neighbors getting even more help. April 13th was really a devastating moment for our community, and uh, uh, we're doing our best to try to assist folks. Uh, we, we initially got FEMA help to come to our city, and FEMA has spent almost $100 million trying to help folks. Uh, insurance companies have been there. So it's still a challenge for a lot of neighborhoods. And uh, this doesn't stop us for our stormwater investment, where we have invested almost $200 million. The, the last city commission meeting, we finally approved the bonds, and we're able to move forward aggressively and f finishing all those projects in those uh, affected neighborhoods. But in addition to that more immediate help, the city has uh, agreed to uh, waive permit fees on a number of these reconstruction projects. And uh, the number for people to call in order to receive that information is 954-828-6520 and select option one. That's 954-828-6520 and select option one. And please be sure you hire a licensed contractor and make sure you get a, uh, something in writing when you have those uh, repairs done for you. You would know yeah. your yeah. <laughs> journey <laughs> going the safe route. And this doesn't include county and state uh, assessments that's separate in this Correct. case. Correct. Correct. So Mayor, let's kick this over to a topic that is so enjoyable, more sports talk in our area. Leo Messi coming to Fort Lauderdale to play, possibly? That's amazing. It's made headlines internationally, local, national headlines. So it was great news when we heard about uh, Lionel Messi coming to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, and uh, what's great about that is it continues to bring excitement to South Florida, especially Fort Lauderdale. Our Drive Pink Stadium is an amazing venue for sporting events. And, uh, and, and the people can really appreciate what we have here to offer. Uh, Mr. Messi uh, will soon sign a deal with uh, Inter-Miami. And uh, and hopefully he'll move to Fort Lauderdale, and he'll be a regular person on the uh, going to Publix and <laughs> and uh, but what's exciting is that he'll he'll bring a level of uh, talent and experience to a to a young team, a growing team, and uh, and I think he's going to create some some champions in our in our local team here. Absolutely, I hope he comes plays with, uh, soccer with my my son on well, his that's little team. That's a good team, thing. That's right? a good thing because he becomes a wonderful mentoring figure especially those in the academy that are now participating and and to and to also mentor the existing players you know because it is a young team and uh, and I think he can pull in a lot of talent that is uh, untapped and I think uh, so it was a great opportunity for this to for the community to have Mr. Messi come to our city absolutely one great sports story to another the Panthers do amazing the Panthers uh, got to see them Saturday night uh, it wasn't a winning game but it was a winning team uh, they played very aggressively and uh, uh, just very, very proud to have the Panthers in our community. Uh, and I thank the, the leadership, the ownership for continuing to have uh, faith in investing in our community and, and putting together such an amazing team. We hope to see many, many championship uh, games in the future. And they'll be training with us pretty soon. Soon in Fort Lauderdale. The uh, the new training center and the new uh, ice skating rink for the public will be open in another couple of months. And uh, everyone will be able to participate in the fun. And we'll see some new stars being developed here in, the, in here. I love it. All right. So we have some fun events, too. Pride Month and the Pride Parade in Wilton Manors, which you are obviously going to be a part of. And we want to hear about that. So Wilton Manors will be celebrating uh, their Stonewall Street Festival this weekend. And uh, there have been Pride events happening all week. Starting this past week, we had uh, we had the um, that flotilla called uh, Floatorama go uh, <laughs> down the New River. It was amazing. 20 boats uh, all decorated in, uh, in rainbow regalia. Uh, so it was fun. <laughs> we went to an event yesterday at the Auberge uh, uh, condo complex. Over 700 people participated there. Uh, so it's a continuation of the uh, of the prize celebration. June is the traditional month, even though Fort Lauderdale celebrates in March. So uh, we're excited. I'll be in the parade, hoping to wave to all of you, and it'll be a celebration of uh, of the community and uh, and and what we've created here in South Florida. And it's really going to be a wonderful event. We expect everyone to be there. It's uh, safe, inviting, and uh, we invite families, friends, visitors, everyone to come. Well, I'm going to say hi to you on the float. Everyone say hi. Don't forget to say hi to the mayor. Thank you so much for being here today. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.